Hi, I'm Tim with Old Town Canoes and Kayaks, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of the settings I use for vertical jigging lake trout and other species. So today's fish finders are extremely advanced. Press the menu button on just about any one of them, and it's enough to make your head spin if you've never actually become familiar with them yet. So I thought I'd walk you through just a few of the settings that I use um, to make vertical jigging more effective, because there are definitely some things you can dial in there. So at their core, all fish finders are going to have sensitivity setting and a contrast setting. And those are the two things that probably get adjusted, the tweaked the most during fishing based on uh, lots of things, uh, water clarity, depth, daylight, things like that. Uh, you'll, you'll can adjust your settings. For the most part, my, I, my starting point for my sensitivity and my contrast are right in the middle, right around 50%. So like if your sensitivity, uh, or if your contrast is, is one to 40, I'll, I'll hover around that 20 range. And if the sensitivity is one to 20, I'll hover right around that 10. I might go up to 12. Generally, if I raise the sensitivity, I will lower the contrast depending. If I just raise the sensitivity one or two settings, I don't really touch the contrast, but those will really kind of make your, your lure um, show up better. Another thing is chart speed. A lot of people don't really give much credence to chart speed, chart speed, but the higher your chart speed, the less definition you're going to get. So uh, a chart speed of 6 or 8 is fine if you're only fishing in 15 or 20 feet of water, but when you get out into 60 or 80 or 100 feet plus of water, you want to slow that chart down. So for me, I run uh, around 6 when I'm in shallow water and when I'm deep vertical jigging like today I'm jigging for lake trout. I bring that down to around four. That slows the chart speed down. That gives me a much better definition on my targets and especially my lure. So I can see individual fish coming up to my lure and I can see my lure and where it is in relation to the fish and, and to the bottom or schools of bait will be more defined. And you could even dial it in using those three settings to get your machine so that you can actually see fish in schools of bait as opposed to just a cloud of, of bait that's passing underneath you. So those are the kind of the basics of, of 2D sonar. From there, you have, you know, lots of manufacturers are going to have different settings. Today I'll talk about my machine is a Helix 9, Humminbird Helix 9. And with Helix units, especially the side and down imaging units, they have a setting called jigging mode. And if you go into your, when you're in a 2D view, you hit your menu button and you scroll down to the jigging mode and you turn that off. What that does is it optimizes the machine to see your jig better, your lure, down in, in deeper water or, or any, any depth really. The thing to remember if you have a side imaging or down imaging unit is that it does so at the expense of the side imaging and down imaging. So it will actually take away from those features and put the extra um, features and function into that jigging mode. So if you are jigging and then you go back to search mode for bass or whatever and you're using your side imaging, you definitely want to make sure that you turn the jigging mode off because it's going to rob some of the functionality of your side imaging. But the, what the jigging mode does is it gives you a more enhanced view of your jig. So when I'm deep water vertical jigging, that is absolutely one of the things that I, first thing I do is, is I turn that on. Uh, and then there are features like the, um, the split screen, I use the zoom mode on my, on my 2D sonar and you can adjust uh, whether it's a narrow, you know, how much of your, the, the screen uses the zoom side and because one portion of your screen will be the entire water column, the other portion will be just what's in the zoom box which you can actually go um, 2x uh, and you can dial that right in and really magnify in. I, I pretty much keep mine at, at 2x all the time so it magnifies it double. So your sensitivity and your contrast are the two things you want to start with. Then your chart speed, and then if you have a helix unit, go to that jigging mode and make sure you turn that on if you're vertical jigging. And don't forget to turn it off when you go back to using side imaging or down imaging. The really nice thing that I like about Humminbird units is they come almost spot on right out of the box. You shouldn't have to adjust your machine very much at all unless you're doing something really advanced. And when you hit that menu button, you're going to see a lot of functions and features. And 90% of the time, they have absolutely nothing to do with what you're doing. Their, their views and their 
different settings for time and there's a lot there's a lot going on in there and each thing has its time and place but for vertical jigging you can keep it pretty simple and and uh, so try try messing around with those keep those settings right somewhere in the middle and use that jigging mode and hopefully you catch more fish